This Zen $300 shouldering accessory kit wrapped around the Sony A7S 3 with additional accessories to rig it all around and be ready to film anytime in your upright filming position. And we shall go straight to an in-depth insight on how I built it, all the parts and accessories that will be linked also in the description and understand if this system is made for your production. Just one thing, I'm using actually the Sony a7 III for this now show off because I'm filming with the Sony a7S3 and I don't have two Sony a7S3s, so this is just the part where you get actually the same size camera just to understand how I rigged it up. And also all the first links in the description will guide you straight to the, this shoulder rig build rig and actually all the parts that I use to build this awesome budget setup, if we can call it like that. When you get these parts from small rig, you get them in really great, well protected boxes and inside all the parts really greatly laid out. For this shoulder kit I'm using Small Rig Basic Shoulder Kit, Small Rig Mini Follow Focus, Small Rig Mini Mad Box, Small Rig Tilt Arm, Small Rig Battery V Mount Adapter, Small Rig Thin HMI Cable, PGY Tech Snap Lock System, Small Rig Cage with Wooden Handle, and Top Handle Nut Rail, Sony A7S3, Siri Anamorphic Full Frame 50mm, Rode Video Micro, and the OC G7 screen with the V-mount Lupo battery on the back. Ok, so the basic starting point for this rig is the small rig shoulder kit base. You get the two rails with the base blade rail system and two handles. They slide in really easily and you can assemble it in a couple of minutes. Slide in your small rig mini full of focus system before going on the handles. On top of it I'm using the PGY Tech snap lock system to get a really easy shoulder rig swap to an handheld situation without any problems. Next thing I'm using the small rig cage with wooden handle and top handle. After installing your dedicated lens, in my case the 50mm, we shall proceed to install the mad box. You get the mad box that support the filters 4x5 65 filters. And in the box you'll get basically all the adapter rings from 67, 72, 77, 82 to 95. After sliding it, you tighten it up with the side knob. The filter thread supports also a fix of an one quarter connection, but I don't use it because I want to have a quick swap option if needed. On the back side I'm using the small rig V-mount battery plate that I attached before the shoulder pad. For a better weight distribution when filming I'm using a bigger V-mount battery from Lupo, to get in closely around 60 to 40 weight ratio. Handles really well in my case. On the cage I'm using the small rig articulating arm to mount the OC G7 screen because I love to get a bright 7 inch preview of what I'm filming. The screen is powered by a V-mount battery so plenty of power for almost all day of shooting. The follow focus has the tilt attachment to closely match and perfect angle to turn your focus on the lens. In the follow focus box you get also additional rods and gear. For this build I have thrown a small Rode video micro on top. Ok, so this is my shoulder rigged setup and yes, altogether we are looking more to a price of around $7000 for the whole package. But yes, you can actually mount whatever system you want and actually layer down your system on your liking, this is my version of it. Scale the things based on your budget. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer them all. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.